Hi, my name is Stephanie Conley and I'm the Forest Soil Scientist for the Monongahela National Forest. I'm here today to talk to you about the soils on the Mauer Track landscape and in the high elevation red spruce ecosystem. We've spent several years now involved in updating and re-inventorying the soils in this landscape because we found great new unique characteristics about these soils as we started to think about landscape restoration projects and how we wanted to restore the red spruce ecosystem. One of the unique things about the soils that we've come to understand about the high elevation landscape here is they have an incredible ability to sequester soil carbon and they play a very important role in the future of climate change and the ability of these landscapes to adapt to a changing climate. The soils that you see behind me that are part of the disturbed landscape that were once part of the mine landscape don't look like the soils that were here prior to the 1980s and possibly not even prior to the early 1900s before what we call the big cut. The soils that are here today are a result of mine reclamation. They come from crushed rock that was part of the mining operation, overburdened, mixed overburdened materials, and about 40 years worth of soil development, which happens from the weathering of the rock that's on this landscape. The soils that are in the background further beyond the mine reclamation, those soils are the ones that we have been updating the soil inventory and remapping. These soils are actually classified as a unique soil order called spodosols here in West Virginia. Unique to West Virginia, that is, but not unique to places like Canada, northern New England, and even down into Florida. The other thing that we found out that was very telling about the soils in this landscape was we could tell where the historic red spruce forest existed on the landscape by looking at the soil. And how could we see that? Well, the red spruce has a unique ability to mobilize the carbon from, that comes from its decomposing litter or the needles down into the soil profile. And it embeds itself deep within the soil profile where it's protected. And this is where we like to see this potential for restoring or sequestering soil carbon. And as we have a changing climate, this is important because we want to get more carbon back into our soils. And these Appalachian forests have a great potential to do that.